Wow, looks like they used a real shark. I'm not so sure I want to stay in a place that welcomes transients. Hmm. Hey, uh, can I get some moose? What does this look like? A hunting lodge? You gonna buy anything? Um, no. Then get out, bum. I guess this is where the speakeasy burned down. How'd Doc ever get mixed up in that? Gail, Zemeckis, and Fine. Attorneys at law. <laughs> no solicitors. Hello? No solicitors! Bank of Italy? How can I help you, sir? Without any money, I don't really have any business in there. McFly? Biff? Kid? Grandpa? That's Mr. Tannen to you, Artie. What are you doing out here? Well, I was getting kind of hungry, so I figured I'd come down here for some free soup. Just thought I'd come down for some soup. Think, McFly. The DA's throwing around subpoenas like Babe Ruth. I don't think Ruth's a pitcher anymore. Shut it. If one of those subpoenas landed in the hands of my number cruncher, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want that, would you? Would you? Uh, no, of course not, kid. All right, that's better. What are you looking at, punk? Keep your eyes on the soup, kid. Well? Well, what? What are you still doing here? Sorry, kid. I'll just run back to the safe house. You do that. And McFly? Yes? That hat's too flashy. You better let me hold on to it. Uh... Now scram! You got it, boss. And don't come out until I give you the all clear. I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two without your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. Hey! Anyway, I'm off to make myself irresistible. Don't let anyone burn down the shop while I'm gone. <clears throat> okay. Hey, um, never mind. I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. Maybe I should go to the jail and talk to Doc before I start dialing random people in 1931. Looks like these pipes go into the basement.
Hill Valley Police Station. Cripes, this place looks old, even for 1931. Who are you and what do you want? Can I talk to, uh, Carl Sagan? Are you his lawyer? Um, no. Then scram! Doc! <gasps> Marty! Doc! What are you doing here? You sent for me, Doc. I did? When? May 14th, 1986. 1980? <gasps> the automatic retrieval system, of course. I'd almost forgotten about that. So what's our plan for getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't. Not in the slightest. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. They're releasing me tomorrow morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? Sorry about that, but it's so wonderful to see you. We have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, you, you might want to hold off on that, Doc. Right, Scott! I'm going to be gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse! Why would they do that? I guess they didn't approve of my burning down their speakeasy. Very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan? A plan? Right. But what? Why don't we tell the authorities? Tell them what? That my friend from the future has proof that I'll be murdered tomorrow? They'd ship us both off to the loony bin. And trust me, you don't want to see the inside of a 1931 insane asylum. Why don't I take the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. Jeez, we've been back together for five minutes, Doc, and you're already talking about the end of the universe. I've missed that. Don't be ridiculous, Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. Why don't we try to tough it out? Now that we know what's coming, maybe we sneak it past the gangsters with a bulletproof vest or something. That might work with one or two bullets, but from the looks of this article, it appears that I'm going to be mowed down in a hail of atomic gunfire that rendered the innocent stranger little more than a pulpy mass of bones and gristle. Who writes like that? According to the byline, one Edna Strickland. I should have guessed. Hey, maybe I could talk to the gangsters. Tell them they're about to shoot the wrong guy. I don't think the criminals of this era are going to be very receptive to a complete stranger telling them that their secret assassination plan is misguided, do you? Well, I suppose I could just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> that's it! What's it? My rocket-powered drill. You have a rocket-powered drill? Not yet. I haven't built it yet. You've lost me, Doc. Listen. A few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Great, I'll just run back to your lab and... No, no, I said nearly complete. You'll need me to help you finish it. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket-powered drill into your cell? Not me, me! 1931 me! Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to convince your 1931 self to build a rocket-powered drill to break you out of jail? Precisely! Won't talking to yourself cause, you know, irreparable damage to the space-time continuum or something? It should be fine. I've already invented the idea of the rocket drill. You've just got to go my younger self into finishing the prototype. How am I supposed to convince your younger self to finish the rocket drill? Just. Tell him I need to break his older self out of jail? Absolutely not. Whatever you do, you can't tell my younger self anything about time travel. I won't come up with the inspiration for the flux capacitor for another 24 years. Then what am I supposed to- Just be your charming self. From what I remember, I'm a pretty easygoing kid, so enlisting me in a scientific adventure should be a piece of cake. Okay, let's say I go along with this crazy idea. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How should I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why don't you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Got it. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. I guess I better get started. 
Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out of here in no time. I'm not worried. Once you and my younger self put your heads together, you'll be unstoppable. <laughs>